Yeah, but think about it. Think of how amazing it is that there's something that's glowing all by itself. Yeah. I mean, it's, how, that know, must have been just not, stupefying. Yeah, and that that appealed to Marie and Pierre from the beginning, that as they would try to break down this ore and they'd have different dishes of, of this or that, they didn't know what it was at first. <clears throat> and at night there would be a glow. But it isn't really the radium, right? Even in the paint, the, the radium shoots out an alpha particle that excites the other ingredients mm. in the paint. And that's, that's, that's what's what makes, glowing. What renders, yeah. renders it visible. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah. This is a pivotal moment in the history of science. Absolutely. In physics and chemistry. Yeah. Absolutely. Because it's not just... And it's a moment when physics and chemistry really meet. Meet and they meet society in a fundamental way. Would you say that the concept of radioactivity and its value to dating things for their age all began with Marie Curie? Is that a fair credit to give? Yes. She wasn't doing that work, but other people in her lab were, oh. including some of the women. Okay. Because if something is radioactive, it, you have a certain amount of that substance in your sample. If it's radioactive, it's changing identity. It's becoming another element. Right. right? It's very alchemical, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Look at that. that. Yeah. Which was a big problem at first. Changing one element into another. <laughs> yeah. Is that even possible? Right. Because we'd already given up on alchemy. Exactly. Right? If you know the rate at which it's changing and you know how much you started with, you'll know how old the sample is. Right. 